Okay, so a very quick demonstration on how to use Battlescribe to create a 40k list. And the important thing with 40k lists is they're made up of individual detachments, and a detachment has a limit on the number and type of units that can be found within it. So if you look in the big rule book on page 248, you'll see uh, how the detachments are made up. Uh, some cost command points to field, others are free. Uh, and we'll make a list that's going to involve two patrols and a supreme commander detachment. So three detachments in the one list. So first thing you're going to want to do is to load Battlescribe. Um, so you'll need to manage data. The first time you load Battlescribe, it'll ask you what you want to uh, which repos you want and if you just scroll all the way down to Warhammer 40,000 pick that that'll bring in the lists of every uh, current legal faction um, What you'll then want to do is hit this plus that creates you a new list You pick the faction you want the list for and I'm using Necrons version 92 uh, And I'm going to create a patrol detachment as my first one uh, and I'm going to call it um, Necron Demo. Uh, and let's crack on with that. So you can see the breakdown of all the different unit types. Uh, HQ Troop Elite. If we go back to uh, here, you can see HQ Troop Elite as uh, the various things there. Uh, and what we're going to do is add in, let's say, a Royal Warden, add the plus on there, uh, and uh, let's have a Chronomancer. Uh, under Troops, we're going to have, uh, let's have two squads of Necron Warriors, and we'll make one of those squads 20 men. Uh, we'll add in under configuration the size we want. Three times. Let's get rid of some of that. Um, and this is important because the different points values that you build to have different number of command points. And this will manage your command points properly. Uh, we'll just build a, a thousand point patrol to start with. Uh, and in here we'll make the Royal Warden, we'll make him our Warlord. Uh, Warlords get a free artifact and a free trait. So for the trait we'll give him Eternal Madness. And for the artifact we'll give him the Veil of Darkness. Um, so you can see at the top we're running at 550 points at the moment. But there's a problem in the list. That's what the... A uh, little red exclamation mark is. It's probably because we've not chosen a faction yet. So we'll choose a faction. A uh, bit of Mephrit. And now it's gone away. And what we've got there is a legal 545 point list of two HQ units, two troops. And if we go back to our breakdown, uh, you'll see in a patrol, we've got the maximum number of HQ units. Uh, we've got at least one troop, and then we've got the zero in the others. Uh, so let's go back to that. Um, and what we can do from there is we can view the list, uh, and that's basically turn that whole list into a PDF document with all the rules that you need. Um, so no need to consult the codex for working out the gun stats. Um, what have you. We've then got some of the faction rules here and we can include extra stuff in there by going into configuration and say we want all the Catan powers. Uh, now when we view it we've got a section in there of the Catan powers so you don't need to have the codex with you if you want to play a game with this. Um, so that's great but that's not what we're aiming for. What we're aiming for is a bigger list. Uh, we want an extra patrol and a supreme command detachment. So uh, you click the name, you go to forces, you'll see we've got one patrol. Click the plus to add to that. 
Uh, we're going to add uh, from the roster Necron Supreme Command Detachment. Yes, please. Uh, and then we're going to add in another one, uh, a Necron Patrol. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll okay that. Uh, and now you'll see that after our first patrol, oh, let's, let's see how this plays out. Uh, so we're going to have uh, the Silent King in there. Very good. Let's add in. Ah, that's what I did. I added a patrol within a patrol, which is obviously not what you want to do. So when you do add forces to, always add it to the roster, uh, not to an existing detachment. Uh, Necrons and then patrol. Yes. And we'll just scrub that one. So this is the patrol we've just added. This is the patrol we set up earlier, and this is our Supreme Command Detachment. Uh, the Silent King uh, is the Warlord. All of this is all set, there are no options with him. Um, you'll see our list is now invalid again, and it'll tell you why. It's because one of the detachments is empty, uh, and it's also because we have two Warlords at the moment, which is obviously not good. So uh, let's go to the Royal Warden and just stop him being the Warlord uh, take away his traits uh, take away his relic uh, in our second detachment we'll have um, two Chronomancers um, Squad of Necron Warriors that will bump up to 20. And then we'll duplicate that. Uh, and we'll have a Katarn as well. Let's have a, a Void Dragon. Uh, and here we get to pick what psychic powers they have. Uh, so we'll give him Antimatter Meteor and Transdimensional Thunderbolts. Uh, so some things don't take up slots uh, and they're special abilities. So for example, when you have a crypt deck, uh, you can take um, Crypto Thralls for free. Um, for free, you still pay the points, but they don't take up a slot in the detachment. Uh, and that's this bound creation, so we can have that in there. Uh, when you have um, Scorpec Destroyers, Uh, you can then take a Viral Construct for free. Um, yeah, so that's our list. Um, you've got two, three detachments, two patrols, one Supreme Command. Uh, if you hit View, you can see everything about it. Uh, what I then generally do is... Uh, print it to a PDF, save as PDF, uh, put it in books, save. Uh, I've now got that as a PDF so it's easy to recall, I can print it, I can email it to people. Uh, if you were to share it on Reddit, um, you can do where is it? Oh no, if you hit the share, sorry, you can copy it as Reddit text uh, to the clipboard and that does all the uh, down marking for the Reddit. Um, yeah, so there's still a problem with this. One more second. Attachment cost. 
just a bit of admin. But that's basically how you use Battlescribe. Uh, the first few times you use it, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, but after that, it becomes really easy. Uh, have fun.